the University of Tokyo is the oldest and top university in Japan, having the world's oldest faculty of engineering. In faculty of engineering, biomedical research has been conducted since 1950s. Biomedical precision engineering laboratory was established in 1981 as the first laboratory purely dedicated to the biomedical research in the faculty of engineering. The Department of Bioengineering has started its graduate program in 2006. Medical Device Development and Regulation Research Center was opened in 2012 for promotion of the translation research and regulatory science for medical devices. Various bioengineering research is now conducted in School of Engineering in collaboration with Faculty of Medicine and the University of Tokyo Hospital. Biomedical engineering research in arrhythmia are also very active in this university. In our laboratory, we are focusing on the development of technique to visualize the arrhythmia events that is indispensable for analyze the mechanism of initiation, maintenance, and termination. We have developed an optical mapping techniques of cardiac action potential with superior signal to noise ratio and high spatial temporal resolution. We also uh, conducted uh, some signal processing, obtained data. We recently proposed uh, some new imaging processing method to analyze the dynamics of arrhythmia. Computer simulation is also used to discussing the experimental result. Through these studies, we are studying an optimization of the electric stimulation or other physical stimulation for the termination of arrhythmia. Other than these activities in University of Tokyo, there are many studies including molecular science study and also the computer science study. One of the results is that highly complex, multi-scale, multi-physics computer simulation of cardiac events that is widely used in the clinical studies. Despite of many years of research, the precise cardiac fibrillation mechanism of the underlying initiation and maintenance are poorly understood. Since about 100 years ago, many theoretical and experimental studies have suggested that spiral wave re-entry, also known as rota, rotating around a functional obstacle like a hurricane and a tornado, is a major mechanism of cardiac fibrillation. While the detection of rota in the clinical setting is carried out with the use of multiple electrode mapping system or body surface mapping system, those are still challenging on account of relatively low spatial resolution mapping system. Our objectives are first to explore spiral wave dynamics specifically in cardiac fibrillation using high resolution optical mapping system and computer simulation and second, to examine how radiofrequency ablation of spiral wave effectively terminates and prevents cardiac fibrillation. The interest of our research is how to control spiral waves during arrhythmia. To explore the way of control, optical measurement systems and computer simulation models have been used. On the other hand, for better understanding of these results, an objective analysis method of complicated activation pattern is necessary. That's why we have invented a quantitative analysis method of spiral waves trajectories. The method, named phase variance analysis, allows us to identify the interaction process of multiple spiral waves. By using this method, we can evaluate the effect of electric stimulations and clarify the mechanisms. The same method is also useful to analyze complicated activation pattern during fibrillation. Based on the knowledge of these basic researches, we are challenging to realize more reliable and effective treatment of arrhythmia. The University of Tokyo Hospital can handle the all of arrhythmia from pediatric to aged patients by ablation and all kinds of devices. In the basic research, we are trying to find the new molecular mechanisms, how severe heart failure and the refractory arrhythmia developed. 
genetic and epigenetic approaches to experimental and clinical sample have revealed new therapeutic target. In addition, another approach to bridge clinical information to basic research is a computer simulator. Applying the multi-scale 3D heart simulation technology developed by the UD Heart Incorporated, it is now possible to create the patient-specific heart model using the clinical data of each patient. Patient-specific models have been applied to the cases of heart failure with conduction blood to predict and optimize the outcome of cardiac resynchronization therapy. We will do our best to contribute to the development of new therapy for Alzheimer's through bioengineering approach.